Hi, good day. My name is Julius de la Cruz from Bachelor of Science in Agriculture, major in Animal Science. Today, I will be discussing my chosen research article entitled Effects of Different Levels of Organic Acid Supplementation on Feed Intake, Milk Yield, and Milk Composition of Dairy Cows During Thermal Stress from the Greenlaw Journal of Agricultural Sciences. Next, we have the content. In this study, I will be discussing the statement of the problem, importance of this study, objectives of this study, materi materials and methods, results and discussion, and the conclusion. To begin with, let's have the introduction. Thermal stress is the sum of external forces to a homoeothermic animal that acts to shift body temperature from the resting state. Thermal stress reduces feed intake, milk yield, growth rate, and reproductive performance, which lead to major economic losses to the dairy farmers, especially in tropical countries. It also affects cellular physiology and systemic metabolism leading to reduction in dry matter intake and milk production due to changes in the physiology, energy metabolism, and endocrine profiles of dairy cows. Thermal stress reduces feed intake, milk yield, growth rate, and reproductive performance, which leads to a major economic losses to the dairy farmers. Thermal stress depresses digestions of dietary nutrients, reducing the effectiveness of converting feed energy units into production energy units. The lactating cows are more sensitive to thermal stress because they produce much more metabolic heat and accumulate the additional heat from the radiant energy than the non-lactating ones. The cow's comfort zone is between negative 0.5 to 20 degrees Celsius. However, it varies between the breeds. The upper critical limit temperature can reach up to 25 to 26 degrees Celsius. The environmental temperature is not the only factor. It's not the only factor. Relative humidity is also important to describe the cow's comfort. The combined effect of the temperature and humidity is quantified as temperature humidity index or THI. The normal THI level of 72 is the optimal to maintain the milk production of dairy animals. Organic acids can reduce toxic metabolites, colonization of pathogens, and endocrine changes in the cow's body during heat stress. The supplementation of organic acids improves the bioavailability of protein and the uptake of minerals like magnesium, calcium, phosphorus, and zinc. Supplementation of organic acid can also improve milk quality. Next, we have the statement of the problem. In the previous studies, researchers reported that supplementation of organic acids can reduce the toxic metabolites and endocrine changes in the cow's body during thermal stress. This study wants to find out and to evaluate the different effects of supplementing organic acids in dairy cow's feed intake milk yield and composition during thermal stress. The researchers hypothesize that different level of organic acid solutions in the drinking water on the feed intake has an effect in the milk yield, milk composition, and the somatic cell count or the SCC of milk of dairy cows during thermal stress conditions. Next, we have the objectives of this study. The present study was therefore, therefore designed to evaluate the effects of supplementing different levels of organic acids solution in drinking water on the milk yield, 
milk composition, milk somatic cell count, blood hemoglobin, and back cell volume of dairy cows during thermal stress. The main objective of this study is to know the different effects of organic acid solution in dairy cows during heat stress. Moreover, they also want to assess how effective organic acid solutions are to dairy cows during heat stress conditions. Next, we have the materials and methods. In, mater in materials and methods, we will be discussing the experimental design and measurements, sample collection, chemical analysis, statistic and statistical analysis. To begin with, we have the experimental design and measurements. 12 Holstein Frisian cows in mid lactation, three to four years old, average body weight of positive negative 50 kilograms were used in the present study. Organic acid solution was prepared by dissolving 80 grams citric acid, 90 grams of phosphoric acid, 50 grams of lactic acid, and 10 grams of copper sulfate in one liter of distilled water. Copper sulfate was used for stability and preservation of the solution. The cows were blocked on the basis of parity and milk production into four groups. Three cows per group and offered water without or with organic acid solution at the rate of 0 0.5, 1, and 1 1.5 ml per liter of drinking water. The experiment was continued for 45 days, including two weeks adaptation period. This study was conducted during the summer months of July and August 2012. The cows were offered maize fodder, dry mother 18%, crude protein 9%, as a basal diet, and 10 kilograms per animal with a dry ration, 60% concentrate plus 40% with straw. The concentrate was consisting of cotton seed cake, 25%, maize gluten, gluten 20, 20%, mustard seed cake, 8%, wheat bran, wheat bran, 45%, and dicalcium phosphate, 2%. And for record keeping, separate feeding and water troughs were provided for each animal. Feed intake temperature and relative humidity of the farm were recorded on daily basis. The cows were milked twice daily, morning and evening. And daily milk yield per cow and daily milk yield per cows was recorded. Next, we have the groups or the four groups and the different treatments used. First, we have the T1 or the treatment one control, water without organic acids. Next is the T2 or the treatment two, water with a ratio of 0 0.5 ml organic acid solution per liter of water. Next is the treatment three, water with a ratio of one ml organic acid solution per liter of water. And last is the treatment four, which is water with a ratio of 1.5 ml organic acid solution per liter of water. Next, we have the sample collection. Milk samples from experimental animals were taken weekly to study the effect of different levels of organic acid solution and the blood hemoglobin and back cell volume of dairy cows. The milk sample were pulled one is to one ratio. Separately to obtain the composite milk sample, two composite milk samples for their, for analysis of milk composition and somatic cell count. Next, we have the chemical analysis. 
The milk samples were mixed thoroughly and were an analyzed for lactose, fat, protein, ash, solid not fat, and total solids. The somatic cell count in the milk sample was checked according to the method described by Sears et al. Blood PCV and HD or the blood hemoglobin were determined through microcapillary method and Sally's hemometer procedure, respectively. Sally hemometer is a laboratory instrument to determine hemoglobin levels in the blood based on color units. The method used is to compare the color of a blood sample with a standard red color. Next is the statistical analysis. The effect of organic acids addition on milk yield, composition, and the somatic cell count, and on the blood hemoglobin, and fat cell volume was determined using prop mix procedure of a statistical analysis using the following model. YIJK equals min plus BI plus OJ plus EIJK. The prop mix was specifically designed to fit mix effect models. It can model random and mix effect data, repeated measures, spatial data, data with heterogeneous variances, and autocorrelated observations, where YIJK is the dependent variable, U is the overall mean, BI is the random effect, organic acids, EIJK is the random error. Values are presented at least square means with the standard error of the means. Next, we have the results and discussion. First, we have the feed intake. The supplementation of organic acids in the drinking water significantly increased feed intake of dairy cows. Higher feed intake was recorded for cows offered with 1.5 ml organic acid solution per liter of water and lowered feed intake for those offered with plain water. Lactic acid supplementation to the diet reduced feed intake. The higher feed intake could be related to the use of lactic acid in combination with the other organic acids, such as the citric acid, phosphoric acid, and copper sulfate. And, in, and to the inclusion in drinking water instead of the feed. We can tell the differences of each treatment and different level of supplementation of organic acid solutions in the table one. The feed in the the feed in the in the treatment one has a mean of 31 point B, which is the no control, while the treatment two or the 0.5 ml acid solution has a mean of 35.4 A, while the treatment 3 has a 36.0, and the 1.5 ml recorded 37.3 A mean of feed intake. Next, we have the milk yield. During thermal stress, the constant exposure of dairy cattle to high temperature causes high body temperature, reduction in feed intake, and alterations in endocrine profiles, which ultimately lead to decrease in milk production. Milk production can decrease between 10 to 35 percent during prolonged thermal stress period. In the tropical countries, Thermal stress is considered as main factor which causes decline milk production during summer months. Data on milk yield of dairy cows supplemented with different levels of organic acid solutions are summarized in Table 1. 
higher level or the 1.5 ml of organic acid solution results in higher milk production. Next, we have the milk composition. Thermal stress not only decreases the milk production but also causes negative influence on the milk composition. In the present study, the use of organic acids solution in the drinking water significantly increase the contents of fat, protein, lactose, SNF, and total solids in milk. In different studies, they observed that dairy cows were shown no effect on milk composition when treated with organic acids. From the recent study, also found that organic acid supplementation increased milk protein. The high protein content might be attributed to, to high feed intake. We can see here in table two the effect of different levels of organic acids supplementation on milk composition and somatic cell count of dairy cows during summer stress. Next, we have the somatic cell count. The SCC or the somatic cell content of milk from cows offered with various levels of organic acid solution has been shown to be significantly lower in cows offered this solution than cows offered plain water. These findings suggest that organic acids can be used as preventive measures against mastitis in infection, which cause major economic losses to dairy business. The somatic cell count of milk increases when a cow's immune cells are released into the milk to fight against pathogenic bacteria like Staphylococcus aureus, which causes mastitis. Generally, the higher the somatic cell count, the worse the infection is. Next, we have the blood hemoglobin and packed cell volume. Table 3 summarizes the effects of various amounts of organic acids on blood hemoglobin and packed cell volume. During the thermal stress circumstances, the use of organic acids in water raised the hemoglobin blood hemoglobin content and baxal volume of blood substantially. The findings suggest that adding organic acids to drinking water not only improves milk output and quality, but it also improves the health of dairy cows. And lastly, we have our conclusion. The result of this study shows that adding organic acids to drinking water increases the performance of dairy cows under heat stress. With the addition of organic acids combination to the drinking water, dairy cows feed intake and milk yield rose significantly. The use of an organic acids mixture during heat stress has also been shown to have a favorable effect on milk composition. Furthermore, the application of organic acids boosted blood hemoglobin concentration while lowering somatic cell count in dairy cow milk. The findings of this study recommended that organic acid solution be added to dairy cows drinking water to reduce output losses and promote dairy cow heal health during prolonged temperature stress in the tropics. And for further more information, you can go in the link provided in my references. And for factual and for factual checking, you can check my references and the link provided. And that's all for today. Have a great day. Thank you.